Okay, I received the bike a couple of days ago. We unboxed everything. Um, seemed like most of the parts were there. We were missing a couple of uh, nuts and bolts. Um, one of them being the kickstand bolt nut was not, not there, so we had to go get one, so that's not a big deal. We also had to supply a few extra washers uh, on some of the assembly, and I can show you that as we go along. Um, as you can see, it looks pretty good so far. It's only been just a matter of a couple hours of assembly. Um, we did get all the parts and pieces. The exhaust did come wrapped in ceramic. Um, everything looks really nice. Been a lot of fun putting together. So some of the things I'm gonna tell you that we ran into when we assembled the bike was uh, you gotta install the motor to the frame. It does not come in, in, in the frame at all, so you will have to install it. Most of the bolts lined up just fine. Uh, the motor mounts, the one problem we did have is down at the bottom, and it does explain in the instructions that, um, that this, this um, lower motor mount does not mount correctly. And we had a small gap down here that you're gonna have to supply yourself some washers to take up the gap. Otherwise, this won't rise up enough to get this bolt lined up. So what we had to do is we had to go into the bottom side and drill it out a little larger so that we could accommodate the Allen, the Allen screws that go up inside of here. So that was one little issue we've had. Um, the, the rest of it's gone together pretty well. When we got to the triple trees, we found that these were flipped upside down completely. And this, where it says kicker, was um, on the bottom side, the bottom side of here. So we had to disassemble this, flip the whole thing around, and um, make sure that the threaded rod comes up through the neck here and you put your main bolt up on top here as you can see there's an Allen big Allen head down here and it does have a it does have a set screw on the back side of the triple tree to hold it in place so it doesn't fall down um, seems seems pretty decent so far um, on the risers you're gonna have to grind out down inside the risers here what you're gonna have to do is grind out down in the bottom here there's a bunch of slag from when they poured the pot metal and uh, in order for the handlebars to sit correctly down here you're going to have to do some grinding on the bottom portions of these. Um, other than that, so far we've come along pretty well. Um, you do have a little bit of wiring that you've got to deal with and some of it is a little bit too long. Um, so you've got your main wiring coming here from the bike um, and you're going to have to route that up underneath the motorcycle and do your best job at hiding as you can. But what we try to do is we open up this uh, pretend oil bag uh, where all your electrical parts are and we've run most of the wires up into up into the oil bag underneath here. Just make sure it's not rubbing on uh, the edge of the oil bag. Um, installing the fenders went, went well. Um, you do gotta tweak the rear fender just a little bit um, to get it lined up, but it goes together pretty well. Um, the front fender, you gotta uh, install the tabs on the front fender. There's these little metal tabs. Install them onto the fender first, then you're gonna install them onto the fork second. You might have to loosen these up and tweak these down a little bit, a little bit differently as you put the tire on to make sure that the fender lines up straight. Um, I'll be back in a second with Mark. All right. Um, Another couple things I wanted to chat about was installing these uh, foot pegs. There's a main rod that runs across the center of them and underneath the uh, center of this there is a set screw which you're going to have to definitely probably, I would assume I would use red Loctite which we used um, to keep this from falling out with all the, uh, the bad roads these, that you're going to be traveling down these days. Um, the rest of this stuff went pretty well. Um, you're going to twist on both, both foot pegs and they have a set screw on the bottom side of them here. Um, and you're going to have to you're going to have to do both of these, but you want to make sure that these foot pegs are lined up correctly, and they're not too far forward, so that when you put the put your foot on, they fold back up again. Um, we did the last thing we did last night was we did install the foot clutch, um, which seems fairly simple and straightforward. We noticed that the cable is fairly uh, taut against the side of the motors. The the clutch cable goes underneath here and your adjustments are here and there's an adjustment on the other side but it also takes a hard left hand turn right here 
and as you can see, it comes up underneath here and it's, it's, it is resting fairly tight to the motor. Um, and then it goes into a holder here which also has an adjustment on it. And this of course is your clutch here. Um, and as you can see if I push the foot pedal, how it works. And it seems to work pretty decent considering it's taut cable. Um, you're definitely going to have to do some modifications. Uh, we're going to clean this up a little bit so that it's not sticking out there and it doesn't get knocked off or we don't have an issue with the plug up here. So we're going to take that into consideration when we finish up the bike. Um, that's it for right now. I'll be back again with more as we uh, progress along with the bike.